All right. Once again, I'm having another day. Sorry, I'm like sick. Um, I'm doing all right. Just feeling a little rundown. <laughs> I think it's a change in the temperature, honestly. It's gotten like drastic. Anyway, um, here's another Glendon Cameron video. It's it's still about... <laughs> If you look at it, it says, stop leaving those weak-ass comments on my channel. And then, for some reason, he includes George Zimmerman as Alive and Well. I don't really understand the point of this video so far. What I do know is that it's really pissing him off um, when you mention anything. When you like, he, it's, he likes to pretend like it doesn't beat him up, but it's hitting him hard, which is the only thing you can really do is just, you know, upset him. Uh, his community page is just full of like the women that he supposedly sleeps with, supposedly whatever I can't speak today thank you so much for the sub sleeps with um, here's one about how Jared is an, an actual example of you know the predator and because Jared was worse than him by his own account that must mean that he's not one but that's wrong they both are more girls, just some more girls talking about this. Is talking about murders. I mean, the guy's sad. The guy's pathetic, to be absolutely honest with you. I don't really know what's going on here. Um, let's give it a watch, though. Also, you know, listen, I really don't think this person should have a place on, um, on any, <laughs> anywhere. But the most we could probably do is social media. Um, I'm honestly hoping that like bigger YouTubers pick this up. And like really pick it up and seriously, I know Abin preached a video on it. It's actually it's funny enough. It's right here. I I didn't actually watch it. I don't know why it says I did. I should watch it though. Um, there I think those are the first people that might have talked about it. Um, but they don't go super in depth probably, which I understand it. You know, but it'd be nice for people to go in depth. Anyway, let's let's get this started. I don't even read these comments of people. Glendon. Yes, he does. Stop. Let it go. Someone could kill you. Someone could take you. you yeah, you gotta go. Hey, listen. <laughs> it's not wrong. But you in the land, someone can kill you. I don't live a life of fear. I will say what I want. And I'm about to give you stark evidence. He's very mad, yeah. Of the so called black community. Because this is who. What? Who, who's doing this? This is mostly the black community. I'm so confused. I mean, maybe it is. It's, it does seem like there are um, a lot of people from the black community calling him out, but like, it's not just the black community. That's just, that's the immediate, I would, I'm assuming that's like his immediate bubble that he's within on YouTube is like a black community type, you know, like I've seen Anton Daniels, it's people promoting, you know, I don't know, self-starting entrepreneurship, entrepreneurial I'm so sorry. I'm speaking like shit today. Um, but that, but it's more than just black people. It's just people calling him out. I just, uh, <laughs> this guy's pathetic, dude. Someone gonna take me out, put their hands on me, cause I got some young pussy. Saying it out loud makes no sense. I gotta, I gotta make sure we reinforce that it's not just about him getting young girls, right? When he was like 34 years old, he, um, admitted to getting images, inappropriate images from 15 year olds. Um, he sexually assaulted a 16 and 17 year old with their, their mother. He went over to the, this is, these are the stories he told us. He went over to this 45 year old woman's house and she, him and her made them, uh, engage physically with him. Try not to be too explicit right now. He praised Viking rape culture. He praised the idea. This is like a real thing. Uh, he, it's another one of my videos I covered. He praised that, um, back in the day, men used to go and take what they wanted from women and children. Um, this is the kind of person we're dealing with. He also has made sure that he he's he has no age of consent for him as long as they look mature. That's it. This is the kind of person that we're dealing with, a disgusting human being. All right. There's a difference between getting younger women and underage women. You know, even if you're fucking 60 talking to 18 year old. Now, do I find it weird? Sure. I find that weird. But is, if it's legal, I don't have an issue with it. But this guy is taking advantage of children. And also keep in mind that he also specifically said that he makes sure that the girls who are underage come from bad families so the parents don't um the parents don't get them in trouble these are methodical predatory tactics that he engages in so you got to keep that in mind there Someone's gonna put their hands on me because I fucked a bitch they didn't know. Really? Look, y'all can stop leaving these because most of the people are broke, 
ineffective, impotent, have no power. Um, I feel like I'm not that person. And if the black community extracted vengeance, George Zimmerman would be dead. What did you say? Extracted vengeance, power. And if the black community extracted vengeance, George Zimmerman would be dead. That's probably true, sure. George Zimmerman killed a child. Yeah. And as I reached George Zimmerman. So I am not fully educated on the on this um Um, situation. I was when I was younger. Um, here's what I know. My understanding is that George Zimmerman. Was, oh my god! Sorry, I'm slurring my words. My understanding was that George Zimmerman, Zimmerman, <laughs> was part of like some kind of a community watch group. And um, Trayvon Martin was walking through, I guess, his community, his town, whatever area, neighborhood, at night. And George Zimmerman basically aggressed onto the kid, escalated the situation. And then they got into an altercation, and then he shot Trayvon Martin dead. And he got away because it was self-defense in a situation that he agitated. Now, I don't really care about the legality. Morally, what he did was wrong. George Zimmer, I think it was disgusting. To me, it boils down to a guy saw a black kid, and they got afraid, so they decided to like try to aggress onto that black kid instead of leave them alone. This is what we talk about when we talk about like implicit bias or biases. Or, you understand what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm, I'm just... A little under the weather. Um, <clears throat> where you have somebody who will ex make uh, exacerbate a situation simply because they perceive that person as a bad person. And this would be on the account that they're black, right? So, sure, I, that's fine, but we're kind of engaging in whataboutism. It's like, well, I know I'm a bad predator, pedophile piece of shit, but what about George Zimmerman? And that's like, all right, I'll, you both can go. Fight to the death for all I care. You know what I mean? Like, it's just fucking insane. Zimmerman is still alive and well. He has a girlfriend. He's living his life. So spare me this. I just want you to go take care of him, London. If you're this altruistic fucking person, go redeem yourself. I mean, I don't condone violence, but it's just a weird take that it's like, yeah, you know, it, you're, you're criticizing black people for not murdering somebody in vengeance. Like, I, I don't really understand what's happening here. Like, they're ba he's basically saying if you don't try to kill somebody like George Zimmerman, then you can't criticize him? Is that what he's trying to say? It's just a stupid brain dead take. Bullshit that someone's gonna do something to me. I don't live in a life of fucking fear, like you cowards do. I will speak what I want to speak about. Oh look, he's got uh, samurai swords in the back, so he's definitely a tough guy. Most of these punks, bitches, low intellect, low impulse control, all these folks leaving me. I find that interesting. I mean, we already know he's low intellect. We don't have to go in on that because he's objectively the dumbest fucking person I've ever met, I've ever seen. But no impulse control? You literally can't prevent yourself from fucking kids. And you're going to tell us that we don't have impulse control? Like, that doesn't even make sense. That's all they got is a comment. That's all they got. They hate it when I delete their comments because they want to get that dopamine hit of someone liking their comment. It's funny because in the beginning, he's like, I don't even read your comments. But then he's like, I delete your comments. It's like, yeah, because you read them and they upset you and they frustrate you. Why else would you feel the need to delete them unless they upset you? Having an, an exchange. These bitches ain't going to do shit to me. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, just let it go, man. Stop talking. People get killed and all. I mean, it must suck. To be you know what's so funny is that we're going with this narrative where he's like, oh, I can get killed. He no, like, There's no real threat of harm for him. Like, Let's be honest with you. Nobody's actually going to go out of their way to hurt this guy. Um, you know, Realistically, he just wants another excuse to talk about the situation again because he's still so upset that he's getting called out and called a pedophile. And he just doesn't understand that he is one. That's the that's the funniest part of it, really, is that he's just dumb and uneducated and has no understanding of anything. That's really what it boils down to. But he's really upset that people keep calling him like a, some kind of a predator, and he feels the need to continuously post about it. That's really what the bottom line is. Be your bitch ass to be worried that you can't say what's on your mind because someone may do something to you. You want to know why I'm not going to happen to me? I'm rich. Name one rich athlete that has been shot. Oh, well, there you go. So it's, it's also funny that he's trying to pretend like he's a tough guy. But by his own logic, if he wasn't rich and he did the same thing, he would have been dead already. <clears throat> it's like, you know, so like you're, you're not actually facing any adversity. You're saying that you're, you're under threat of being hurt, but there's no actual harm here. And you're saying it's because you're rich, which is probably true. So it's like you're not even fighting against some kind of uh, there's, there's no there's no threat in what you're saying because he's trying to make it seem like 
He's he's pushing through all the hatred, and he knows he can get hurt, but he's going to stand on his freedom of speech. But in reality, he just feels protected because he has money. So, like, what is he talking about? By the police. Name one. Go ahead, put it in the comments. Name one. See, there's layers to this shit. Uh -huh. Most of the folks who are leaving these comments are jealous ass haters. Just don't, just don't They're not so. someone who's going to do some shit. You know, if they were going to do some shit, they wouldn't be living these suck ass lives. So don't leave any of those Like, if I see a comment, I'm not even going to read it. I'm just going to delete it. If you are. Well, how would you know what it said unless you read it? That doesn't even make sense. Like, you, you were reading them. Here to speak your mind. If you are scared to speak your mind, if you're scared to voice your philosophy, that's you. Wait, I'm so confused. So you're criticizing people for leaving hate comments, but then also calling people who are afraid to speak their mind like cowards? But aren't those people voicing their perspectives against you because you're a fucking worthless predator? Aren't those people doing what you're saying they should do by voicing their freedom of speech? This, is, this doesn't even make sense. How do people watch this guy and go, this is the guy I want to get my business advice from? It ain't me. What? Most of these punks, assholes, dumbasses ain't going to do shit. You like how this guy's yelling? He's just, <laughs> this is funny to me. Because he's yelling, he's emphasizing like, oh, punk. Like, these words don't offend me. Like, oh, I'm a punk. Dude, you're you're a fucking pedophile. Like, you, you can't get any lower than that. He's, to me. He's also reading off a script. You, you want to know why? Let me tell you why. They, they're not even actively managing their own lives. They're living in hotels. They're renting. Living, it's very, it's a lot more expensive to live in a hotel than a house. This is very bizarre what you're saying. Cars, they're doing all kinds of managing their own lives. They're living in hotels. They're renting cars. What? They're renting cars? What are they, is he, oh, maybe he's referring to people that are living like a fake lifestyle? I don't understand. They're doing all kinds of bullshit. Yeah, they're going to extract vengeance. They're going to pull out a gun. Like, someone left this. I just deleted it. Are you scared? Why don't you, you leave it up? They're, they're going to get me for getting some young pussy when the black community didn't do shit to George Zimmerman for killing a child. I mean, you're basically saying that you think the black community should take vengeance on you. That's what you're saying. George Zimmerman has been walking around free, living his fucking life. Okay. So that's proof positive that ain't shit gonna happen to me. And y'all keep putting this stuff up there. And I feel that some of these comments are made because a lot of you, you don't know what it's like to have, like, I don't have a lot of power, but I have a little bit of power. And I have a little bit of influence. And oh, really? To be a man who has. Well, if you have, yeah, you, have, you do have influence over children. This is how you rape them. Like, we already understand this. Like, you, you keep saying it every time, and we already know. Has nothing. That's gotta suck. I used to be in that position. I feel you. That sucks. But I am not worried about these fools, these bitches, these punks, these clowns, these low intellect, low impulse fools. Like the guy who stole my car. He got. He's just he's just continuously saying words. So this is incredible. Like he's he's literally just throwing. He's just dumping word salad all over us. There's there's no there's nothing behind these words. Like low impulse control. Like what does that mean? You fuck kids. You can't get any lower. Rowdy, he was talking about drop a location. I'll be there. Did you drop your location? He's a little bitch. Wait. He was talking about drop a location. I'll be there. He's a little bitch. Well, did you drop your location? Because he's not really a bitch unless you dropped it and he didn't go. So I think you need to drop your location for that guy. If I dropped the location, this ass wouldn't have showed up. <laughs> Look at that pussy. Come on, dude. What are you talking about? I'm a tough guy. Listen, that guy said drop your location. So if you're so confident he's not going to show up, drop your location, dog. <laughs> it shouldn't be any harder than that. I don't understand. Why are you afraid? He's not going to show up. Nobody's going to show up by your logic. Sounds like you're afraid. So spare me all this noise of, you know, just let it go. They're going to come get you. They ain't going to do shit. All they can do is leave a mean comment. That's all they can do. Well, that guy told you to drop your location and you pussied out, so I don't know what you're talking about. These are not soldiers. These are not warriors. These are not people. If you know your history, there was the deacons of defense. These were black men who were shooting white men who were fucking with black folks. Okay. We don't have that kind of energy in the community anymore. We have a bunch of mama boys. 
I'm so I'm just confused. Are you encouraging people to kill you or something? I, like I don't understand. Like what is here? He's he's like, oh, nobody's gonna do anything to me, and but they used to do things to people like me. Then you sh we should they should people should do that. I'm just so confused. The energy's all over the place. And then you're like, oh, you're too afraid to do anything, but you won't drop your location. That guy would have done something to you. But you're like, no, nah, I wouldn't. That's why I didn't bother. It's like, dude, come on. This guy, this guy's pathetic. We have a bunch of bitches who will leave a smug comment, and that is the beginning and end of their power. Uh -huh. So I ain't worried. I so why do you feel the need to constantly respond to these people? If you're if you're not worried about it, this is like the fourth response. It's because you're upset and you're afraid. I'm not worried at all. I don't lose a wink of sleep worrying about who's gonna get me because I fucked a young chick. If people were killing people for fucking young chicks, you know how many bodies would be in the morgue? We'd need a. That would be great. I'm down for it. Yes, I, I am not against um, child molesters getting punishment. That's what I'll say. What is it? What's his argument? It's like, yeah, you know, if, if we actually punished all people who harm children, that we'd have a lot more dead people. Oh, no. Like, what? Okay. Good. Cool. What's his argument here? You know how many pimps? You know how many sex traffickers yeah, are snatching terrible. young girls off the street every fucking day? Yeah, I don't know. You Ain't probably shit don't. happening to them. You're one of them. Is he trying to say that things shouldn't happen to them? Because at this point now, he's like basically saying it's okay that there's child sex trafficking. Because he's equating himself to child sex traffickers. I, this doesn't even make sense. This guy really is dumb. He's basically saying, like, I, I, he's one of them. And he's like, yeah, these guys don't get caught. Me neither. Yeah, you're all the same, man. I mean, y'all are cracking me up. Y'all are cracking me up. It's like... Well, you know, don't don't say nothing. You you might stir them up. Stir up who? Some weak ass punk bitch that's gonna leave a comment on my YouTube channel? Get the fuck out of here. These people have no power. They have no backbone. They have no courage. And once again, leave the internet. Someone's gonna take me out for fucking a seventeen year old. But they no. Okay, again, you raped a sixteen and a seventeen year old, and that's only the people that you accounted. You you and the mother forced them to. You and the mother forced those kids to do that. And again, like I already explained everything at the end of the beginning of the video. This guy is a horrible fucking person. He's just downplaying. I mean, he's a dumb fucking idiot. They're going to let George Zimmerman live, thrive, and continue to enjoy life who killed an innocent child. But they're going to kill me. They're going to take me out. They're going to they're going to do something to me. But they're going to let George Zimmerman live. Come the fuck on. Y'all need to stop leaving these comments because I'm going to continue to be me. It has worked out being me for the last 55 years. It's worked out quite well. I'm going to continue to say what I want to say. Shut up. This person said, if this video doesn't shut up the haters, I don't know what will. You guys are really dumb people. You guys are really just emphatically fucking stupid. Defending a rapist. Yeah, it's good for this guy. Um, I just don't understand how you could look at this and go like, yeah, this is this. <laughs> this is the video. This is the so such a smart guy. This guy is so fucking dumb. Gulag awaits. You got some fucking gamers in here. <clears throat> I don't know if Anton wears a curved strap. What does this even? I'm gonna continue to do what I want to do, and I'm gonna continue to talk smack to all these weak ass busting haters. I mean, guys. Some part of me thinks this man is low-key making these response videos just to piss off the haters even more while raking in even more YouTube money. Actually, pretty smart. Not for nothing. This guy's not... This channel is probably not even monetized. Um, Maybe it is, but the amount of money you're getting from a 1,000 view video is very insignificant. Not even raking in money. He just looks like a fucking idiot. You know, stop leaving these long comments like you're in Atlanta. You know, I used to live in the hood. And you know who the people in the hood kill? They kill people in the hood. They don't come out of that circle. They kill people they know. They get in these little beefs and little fights. That's who they kill. They kill. They eat their own. They don't come out of the neighborhood. I have a friend, David Dink. And he used to live Bro, somebody asked you for your fucking address and you denied him because you're a pussy. So I don't know what you're talking about. Acting like people wouldn't fuck you up, but you're too afraid, dude. Midtown. 
and he was talking to his bum. He's like, why are you pissing on my stoops? And this is what the bum said. Well, if I piss on their stoops, they're going to call the police on me. These folks know where they can go and what they can do and what they can't do. They know. So please, don't leave any more of these little, you're going to be careful, man. You don't want to piss them off. They may be doing something. You're playing a foolish game. A foolish game with a bunch of powerless punks. A bunch of... Drop the address, dog. To folks who have no agenda, no agency. I would be more worried about Vladimir Putin if I was making smack talking videos about Vladimir Putin. I would be worried about that. Why? I mean, like, I, I, I guess what he's, uh, what? I guess he's saying Vladimir Putin has more reach. I just, that all, oh, that's just, why would you be worried about criticizing Vladimir Putin? What, this is so random. And also, like, if you really were, what? You'd be afraid to credit, like, okay, well, then you're a pussy. I don't know what you're talking about. What? I'm so confused. This is just the most, this is some of the most smooth brain shit ever. Vladimir Putin has been known to kill people. But these, but you literally just made the argument that people in the black community only kill each other, right? Or in the hood, you said. Vladimir Putin would only kill people in Russia. Are you in Russia? Is that what we're, what we're talking about? Like, I'm just so confused. The powerless punks? Y'all, y'all, come on. I mean, come on. You're trying to get Hassan to notice it? That'd be great. Somebody, just somebody to talk about this fucking guy. Like, really, he's such a dumb fucking predator. Come on, y'all. <laughs> they ain't gonna do shit to me. Because, as I said, George Zimmerman, who killed an innocent child, is still walking around, breathing, he's got a girlfriend, he's fucking, he's eating steak, but they're gonna kill me for getting some young pussy. Hey, hey, what is it called? Kalos Nos Dos, right? Is that how you say it? Is that how, is that how, uh, is that how Dora says it? Am I saying that right? Oh no, it's not Dora the Explorer, it's from this commercial. How do you decide right? between crunchy and soft tacos? Por que no los dos? Hey, por que lo nos dos? There you go. There, that's what I'm trying to say, dude. So, you know. That's all I'm trying to say, bro. He's fucking, he's eating steak, but they're gonna kill me for getting some young pussy. And then here we go. Por que no los dos? Hey, listen. Hey, but this, it's all just dark humor, guys. Saying it out loud, it sounds crazy. So we're going to let George Zimmerman live, who killed this innocent child that Obama commented on. But we're going to kill Glendon Cameron because he got some young pussy. Really? Saying it out loud, it sounds stupid. It sounds crazy. Well, I imagine, like, hearing yourself out loud in general just sounds stupid because you're a fucking idiot. But, um, you know. So don't leave any more of those comments like, hey, you got to watch your back. You got a gun. I would hate to be you living in a state of fear. You know what I did this weekend? I went out. Don't care. Had dinner. Rape hung out with my girl. Fucked. Enjoyed life. You think I'm worried about these fools? You think I'm worried about them? These, you know, these loose cannons? They're not going to fuck with me. They're not. Because if so then this, just drop the address, dog. I don't understand. You said that somebody asked for it and you didn't drop you didn't drop it. Agency, this body of politic of people was gonna do shit. What? This agency, this body of politic of people was gonna do shit. What do those words mean together? George Zimmerman would be dead. George Zimmerman is not dead. George Zimmerman is doing what the fuck he wants to do. George Zimmerman is still living. Go to Google and look up Jordan. He's got a girlfriend. This man who killed an innocent child has a girlfriend. Yeah, I guess this man who rapes innocent children has a, a, a girlfriend too. Although it doesn't seem like he can settle down. I don't understand. I'm going to tell you something. One chick I used to date, she found out about it. And she was talking about smack. what? And then I snapped back. It's like, Wait, she found out about what? What does that mean? What? She found out about it. What does uh, it mean? What is it? She found out you were fucking talking to children? And she was talking smack. And then I snapped back. It's like, how did I get you? And she's like, what do you mean? I was like, how did I get you? And then she got quiet because I got her from the Craigslist ads. I, she answered an ad. She came over. I choked her and I fucked her. And I was like, dude, this is like high school shit. Like, oh, great. 
So he basically just said that one that the girl found out about it. It was fucking underage children, and she got upset. And then he's like, "Yeah, well, you know, how I found you the same way I found the kids. Like, wow, great self incrimination." It's kind of funny that you're talking all this smack when those same Craigslist ads is what got you. That's what got. You. Why is that funny? Like, you guys, who I don't care how you would meet. If you want to meet in like some shady Craigslist thing, be my fucking guest. But <laughs> she found out you're talking to kids. And she was like, yeah, you're disgusting. And you thought it was a slap back. Like, I found the kids the same way I found you. Wow. A really intelligent response. You. And she wants to come back. If I was to say that I didn't want some more pussy, because that's the problem. She doesn't like, she wants to be the only pussy that is in my life. And I'm going be, I'm to be honest. Um, it lives in Georgia. She ain't enough for me. She is not enough of a woman for me to disregard well no it sounds like she's too much of a woman because you don't like women you like children i think that's the problem that we're having here are the other chicks she ain't now this is funny i didn't meet someone who we had a great time we fucked we enjoyed each other she gets me and the next morning i did not call i did not text my rotation i have not even talked to him i'm all into her so okay here's the things ladies if you want a man there, there's no women listening to this for like advice for men. I don't know what your what advice to date men. To you, you need to be fucking interesting. Let me tell you about this girl. She is super clean, and she is super neat, and she is super organized. I love that. I love it. You know how many chicks I dated? Their, their, their place looks like a fucking bomb went off in it. She is super clean. She's super, and I like the way. Well, I'm not surprised because you specifically make sure that you go for uh, children young girls who don't have good family lives because this way they don't call cops on you. These are things you've said. So I'm not surprised they they have messy rooms. Yeah. She dresses. She has a certain style. She's very, very interesting. And the sex is amazing. I'll tell you something. She's riding the dick, right? And she came so hard, she damn near passed out. And she wow. told me, she says, I have not come like that. And I cannot remember. So we Dude, have. It's just like there's, it's every video is just the same thing. He just says a bunch of words like low IQ fucking words. Like this guy is not intelligent at all. He ad he admits more that he rapes children, and then he talks about how good he is in bed and acts like it's really like not that hard to be good in bed. Like literally, when you just get older and more experienced, you become better in bed. Literally, like anything else, you just get better at things as you get on. It's not this profound thing. He's bragging because he knows how to have sex with young because young people are impressed with him in bed. It's just like okay, and it's annoying that he that he finds tremendous value in this when it's not something to be tremendously valued. Like when we get you get over this like when you're young, like you're still bragging about sex. It's not that hard. It's not difficult to get women, especially when you have money. Like it doesn't really matter. I mean, who cares? Like I'm at a point in my life. I'm 31 years old. I, this is the this is probably the prime of my life. Like I have money now. I'm fortunate because of YouTube, and like I'm I have a, a decent amount, like a little bit of popularity, and like I'm, but I'm I don't care. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm not a child anymore. I could pull whatever. I could pull a lot more than like I used to, but I'm very happy and I'm settling down. I don't really understand. It's not a flex that you could fuck people. If you don't want to settle down when you're younger, that's fine. But do you think that it's a flex is just pathetic. It's just so stupid. <clears throat> Sexual chemistry. We have physical chemistry. And, you know, I'm a that's the same thing. But morning okay. person. Like one morning she was over and I started kissing her in the morning. A lot of chicks like, let me sleep. Let me sleep. She with it. She with it. So it's just uncomfortable. All the, the girls are so a lot of girls when you try to kiss them are like, let me sleep. Let me sleep. What is that because you're doing it non consensually? This is what I'm doing. I'm enjoying my life. I'm fucking. I'm going. Yeah, you down. know what it is? Like a, a lot of young men, like a lot of young, ignorant men probably look at this guy and go, like, wow, this guy is fucking so cool. You know? <laughs> this is the what's this is this is like Matthew McConaughey from Dazed and Confused, where he's like, oh. The great thing about high schoolers is that they say the same age and, and when I get older kind of a thing. This is him. It's the same energy. I'm meeting people. I am not worried about these powerless punks and their opinions. So then drop the address like that one guy asked. All the fuck they have is an opinion. And it's an uneducated opinion. They're using a word they don't even know the meaning of. They're using classifications. They're leaving little stupid ass insults. I'm, you think I'm worried about these bitches? Like the guy who stole my car, he got rowdy and he was talking. Someone 
said he's probably a morning person because <laughs> oh no he said the girl's it's fucked up she's probably a morning person because she needs to wake up in time to go to school yeah that makes sense because she's fucking kids honestly. and all this other stuff if i was before him because he's a little man he's a little bitch of a man we talking he about? would piss his pants if i unleashed on him i am not worried about these fools and stop leaving these bitch ass comments and Glenn, you need to you need to be careful man you need to be careful you need to be careful be careful for who these motherfuckers have done nothing to george fucking zimmerman who killed an innocent child he took his life it's you know what this the saddest part about this is is that this guy doesn't care about george Zimmer, uh, zimmerman at all i think that's the the saddest part about it is this guy doesn't give a singular fuck um about george zimmerman and he's using the situation in order to he's trying to use the emotions of people who are rightfully upset about the George Zimmerman trial to justify his own predatory behavior. And he doesn't care about Trayvon Martin. He doesn't care about George Zimmerman. This guy's a fucking coward. He's just saying things that make him feel like he's less of a criminal, but he's a fucking disgusting predator. <laughs> And people are eating it up. They're just this is for people who uh, this is a confirmation bias. So like you're just hearing information and you're perceiving it in a way that you know will just double down on whatever you think rather than actually thinking about it. And so that's all he's doing. He's pandering to people, his own audience, uh, that and he's just you know doubling down this confirmation bias mentality from these people. In the black community, hasn't done shit to him, and that's who these punks and fucking powerless people are. They talk a good game. But they, when it comes down to actually do uh, You can't even take this seriously. Somebody asked you to drop your address and you didn't do it because you were afraid. And, and you're acting, and you're like, he's not going to do it. Yeah, he is. The guy probably would have, but you're too afraid. So, like, if you are so confident, dude, drop it. Do some shit, they don't do shit. They don't do nothing. If the black com community collective was what it used to be, when we had to menace the deacons of defense, George Zimmerman would have been dead years ago. Say probably the same to you, you know. We don't have warriors. We don't have soldiers. We don't have that. We got a bunch of beta male cucks and a bunch of dumb, ignorant bitches in the community, and that's make the community weak. But you would be one of those people. <laughs> it's so confusing. Because, like I said, if they had energy, George Zimmerman would have never made it to his trial. George Zimmerman would have... They didn't even kill George Zimmerman in jail. And he killed an innocent child. And ain't shit has happened. And George Zimmerman has been in multiple altercations since the Trevon Martin case. Ain't shit happened to him. So spare me this bullshit. You know, it's, it's interesting though. I know just in general prison mentality is that like nobody's worse than a child predator. So, you know, let's be honest here. That if I speak out, they're gonna get you going They're gonna fuck these folks. They ain't gonna do shit. They're powerless punks. Because see, the really classy folks, they like, saw that video and they went on with their lives. The trashy, disenfranchised- Yeah, they also, they put them in a protective area. Yeah, that makes sense. I wouldn't doubt that. The stupid, the dumb. And like, today, I didn't even have to remove any comments. I didn't have to delete anything. The shit's pretty much over. So I'm gonna- So then why are you making this video? Why are you so afraid? Go back to my regular programming, but I just wanted to put this message out. Stop leaving those fucking weak ass- When are you better? If they already stopped putting the comments, why do you feel the need to tell people to stop leaving them? It just, none of this makes any logical sense. Be careful. You're in Atlanta. People die. No, I, I'm in Atlanta. I know who died. What's possible is that the only time people watch his content is when he talks about how he's a predator, so. I used to live in the hood. The hood preys upon their people. That's who gets killed. They don't come over here to Buckhead. They don't come over to Sandy Springs. You know, they started because we're in the global reset and now we're having people doing some stuff. But the reality... Right, we have people doing stuff, true. George fucking Zimmerman like is alive and he killed an innocent child. But they're gonna get me for fucking some young pussy? Get the fuck out of here. Stop it. Expand your mental. Expand your mental concepts. Because right now, there are traffickers. Right now, there's some girl right now at the Greyhound bus station. And there's a pimp at the Greyhound bus station. And he's gonna talk to her, and he's gonna buy her some clothes, and he's gonna turn her out, and she's gonna be selling pussy. Pussy in the next few days. And she's gonna become a whore. It ain't shit gonna happen to him. Even if he gets caught and goes to prison, ain't shit gonna happen. I just don't understand. Are you saying that's a good thing? I'm very confused because it's horrible. That sounds absolutely disgusting. It sounds like he's bragging about it though. 
And this guy actively recruited a young girl and turned her into a whore. And ain't shit gonna happen. Just like the insensitivity. When, like these people who get preyed on, uh, preyed upon, and they get turned into like sex tra uh, sex workers. Like you wouldn't call them whores. These people, these are these individuals are victims. Happened to him. So stop with these comments because I'm just gonna. I'm not even gonna read them. Yeah, you are. Because you know some of you are investing too much time in fear. Like oh, women, you need to be careful, man. They're gonna get you. But George Zimmerman is walking around free. Yeah, you keep saying that, but again, somebody asked you to drop your address and you refused because you were afraid. So, like, what are you talking about? George Zimmerman is fucking his girlfriend. George Zimmerman is eating steak. George Zimmerman is living his fucking life. But I got to worry because I got some young pussy. Get the fuck out of here. So, I'm going to just delete your comments and block you because you're a dumbass. You're a dumbass. And, like, you don't, you, let me just say this. You do not determine my program. I'm going to put out on my well, it sounds like people do. You haven't stopped talking about the situation. So they, you quite literally, everyone's determining your programming. YouTube channels, what I want to put out. You're not, you don't have that kind of power to influence what I will and what I will not do. You literally are just exclusively talking about this situation. So that's actually incorrect what you're saying. You don't have that. <laughs> and most of these punks, pussies, beta male simp cucks, they ain't gonna do shit to me. Because if they were rowdy, if they were about that life, George Zimmerman would have been in a coffin years ago. Years ago. So I ain't even worried. So I had to get that off my chest because I'm seeing these little weak ass comments from these beta, beta ass males who live in a life of fear. I will speak on what I want to speak. I will say what I want to say. I will do what the fuck I want to do. And I ain't worried about these little powerless punks and bitches and stupid people. Because the hood, the hood eats his own. Right now, there's probably someone in the hood that's going to die tonight because it's going to be over some dumb shit. Like maybe Pookie borrowed $10 from T-Rock and T-Rock wants his $10 back and Pookie and T-Rock get into it. Next thing you know, T-Rock pull out the, the strap and next thing you know, Pookie dead. That's the dumb shit that happens in the hood, which is why I don't hang in the hood. You can become a victim. You can become a statistic just being in the fucking hood. I don't even hang around. You could hood. also become so, a victim or statistic by getting raped from uh, Craigslist by older men. Is that crazy? Once again, stop putting those fucking comments up. They're annoying as hell because if you understood what was really going on, if you understood human nature, you would know. So this is Glendon Cameron at the Lost Kings. I spoke my piece and hopefully you heard me. Hopefully. Hey, yeah, drop your address, dog. Well, that was another great video from Glendon. It's, um, what a fucking loser, dude. <clears throat> hopefully somebody does something about this guy.